Welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to solve problems related to normal distribution. It's a continuous probability distribution, obviously, and uh, the function, which I can say the probability density function of normal distribution is a little complicated. So I would be explaining it that how to use normal distribution to solve a problem in Excel. So here is the problem in front of us. A radar unit is used to measure speeds of cars on a motorway. The speeds are normally distributed with a mean of 90 km per hour and a standard deviation of 10 km per hour and how many cars out of 1000 are traveling at more than 100 km per hour, that's what I want to know, are traveling less than 80 km per hour and are traveling exactly 60 km per hour. So there are three things which I'm going to answer in this particular problem. First of all, how to check whether the data is normally distributed or not. So there are multiple ways and uh, there are several softwares available. We can have a separate discussion on it. But uh, right now you can see that uh, if any data follows a bell-shaped curve, like here, bell-shaped curve, any data follows a bell-shaped curve, that becomes a normally distributed data. Though there are several other things which need to be discussed. I'm not going to dive deep into the concept there right now. My objective through this video is to make you understand how to solve, solve the problems related to normal distribution. So uh, I have already listed uh, the information which is given in the question right here. The mean or the average number of uh, average speed of the cars is 90 km per hour and standard deviation in 10 km per hour. And uh, I just want to know that how many cars out of 1000 and uh, these three questions I need to answer. So first of all, uh, I am answering uh, pro, uh, you know, the first part of the problem, first, second and third. These are the three parts I am going to answer. Let me just give them the same color and everything. A little dark, I guess. Yes, now it's okay. So I am going to answer one, two, three here. So first of all, I am going to answer that how many cars are traveling, out of 1000 cars, how many cars are traveling more than 100 kilometers per hour if the data follows a normal distribution with these information. So I'm interested in calculating. What I'll do is the pattern is going to remain same. I'll get the calculate the probability of a car uh, traveling more than 100 kilometers per hour, and after that I'm going to multiply it with number of cars right here. So it is in kilometers per hour. So it is km per hour. Now it sounds, sounds fine, but I didn't use the unit just for the reason because I'm to use this as a reference cell. So that finds x in kilometer per hour. That sounds good. So let's see how we can solve this particular problem. So I'm going to use my normal distribution function built in Excel. Before calculating the probability direct in this particular cell, I'll be using one additional cell here. And while why I'm doing it, I'll be just explaining it. So normal dot norm dot this. This is the function right here. It first asks me for x value. So I'm interested in calculating hundred. Uh, more, more than 100 kilometers per hour then it asks me for a mean value which is right here in this cell 90 kilometers per hour then it asks me for a standard deviation which is right here and since the question involves more than so I need a cumulative function right here it's not an exact match so that's it so I get a probability uh, of 0.84134475 so what this probability is, I'm going to explain it through a graph. Look at this. So this is how the data is distributed, normally distributed, average is sitting right here at the center. And let's imagine that 100 km per hour is somewhere here. So what I'm interested in, I'm interested in calculating this probability above 100. That means from here to the end. But what this function is giving me, 0.8413, this is giving me the probability of from zero cumulative probability from zero to hundred. Since the total of the, so it is giving me this particular cell is giving me probability from zero to hundred. The cell D seven is giving me probability of having accidents. From, uh, sorry, not the accident. Sorry, the cars driving up to hundred kilometers, zero to hundred kilometers per hour. But I am what I am interested in. I am interested in this particular area. And the total of the probability under the normal curve remains 1. So what I'm going to do is 1 minus this particular area right here is going to give me the balance. So that is going to be my probability 1 minus probability of from 0 to 100. 
and that gives me uh, the probability of a random car so if i randomly pick up a car what is the chance that it is driving above 100 kilometers per hour is 0.158 since i have how many cars here 1000 cars the question explains that out of 1000 cars so i'm going to multiply this 1000 with my probability and it gives me that out of 1000 cars approximately 159 cars may be driving above 100 kilometers per hour so that is the answer to first particular part second is how many of them are traveling less than 80 kilometers per hour so in this case i hope now i set up the stage already it is pretty easy to understand norm dist 80 i am trusted in 80 mean standard deviation and this time again i want a cumulative match why do i want a cumulative match i'll just explain because now i am interested in less than 80 that means 0 to 80 so now let me let me change the figure a little bit let's see i'm copying it this time 80 is somewhere here right so it's, it's a very rough i would say graph so don't uh, see the exact uh, you know graphical details on it so now i'm interested in from less than 80 that means from 0 to 80 which anyways the cumulative function is calculating direct so i'll be multiplying it with the number of cars thousand cars times the probability that a random car if i see that it is traveling less than or 80 kilometers per hour and i hit return so okay so it is again giving me the same figure 159 so like if i change it to 50 kilometers i can i can change it for any particular value so there may be almost zero cars because 50 is far below uh, than average we convert it to a number right or uh, less than i would say 60 if you want to check any any particular speed you can check it on 200 right almost all cars are driving below 200 200 right below i would say uh, 75 so almost 66 cars out of 1000 may be driving below 75 how many are driving below 150 all of them 125 around triple nine 120 around 990 uh, around all the cars are driving below this particular speed right so you can just keep on changing the number and uh, you can just keep on calculating that how many cars are driving less than 80 kilometers per hour so this is exactly the data now how many cars are exactly sick driving at 60 kilometers per hour so i'm going to use again a norm test function and now i'm interested in exact match of 60 kilometers per hour mean standard deviation and then comes the exact match so these cars are driving exactly at 60 kilometers per hour 1000 are the number of cars which i'm interested in times this probability so almost exactly 60 the chances you know less than means almost no car is driving exactly 60 and which sounds pretty realistic too now if i'm uh, i wish to identify i'm just expanding this problem a little bit if let's say i'm interested in calculating how many cars may be driving between uh, i would say 90 to 100 or 120 or let's just pick up 100 how many cars will be driving between 90 to 100 so in that case i have explained the function cumulative function in such cases previously as well and i'm going to redo this particular problem here so i'm going to put up 100 here 90 here that sounds good and uh, let me get it connected to the problem once again now i'm interested in so uh, what i'm interested in i'll show you a little on the graph now i'm interested in how many are driving between 90 and 100 right between 90 and 100 that's what i'm interested in that means i'm interested in this particular area the area between the two lines which i've just drawn between 90 to 100 this is i want to calculate so what i can do is i can use a normal distribution cumulative function first i'm going to calculate first i'm going to calculate from 0 to 100 then i'm going to calculate from 
zero to ninety, and I hope I hope that if I subtract two, that means zero to hundred, zero to ninety, I'll get this orange arrow right here. So that is the plan. Let's do it. So I'm going to calculate normal distribution. Norm dist is my function. Norm dot dist. First, I'll calculate ninety, right? And uh, okay, let me use it in this cell. So I'll get the final output somewhere is equal to norm dot dist ninety right here c ten. Now it is asking me for mean ninety here and then ten standard deviation ten right here and then the cumulative match true match. Right, almost uh, zero point five is the chance, and then I'm going to calculate norm dist. X value is hundred, then ninety, then standard deviation ten, then of course a cumulative match. Okay, let me increase the decimals a bit. Fair enough. So now what I'm interested in. I'm going to uh, get my output in the cell. I'm going to subtract from zero to hundred, and I'm going to subtract from it zero to ninety. That gives me the chance, and is equal to since I am dealing with thousand cars here times. That's it. So nearly out of thousand, three hundred and uh, uh, let me reduce the points. Okay, that signal is not going off. Nearly 341 cars will be driving between 90 to 100. So that's how a problem related to normal distribution can be solved. Thank you very much.